interesting is um, testimonies. How many are there, please? How many are there? Three. Okay. Why is microphone? Microphone. We are, we are timed, please. Microphone. Yes. To the point, your name, the problem, how long, how is it solved? Go ahead. Praise the Lord. We are Mr. and Mrs. Ogundano um, from a poor group at the Kondi Street, Calabar, Cross River State. The last time um, our father in the law, W.F. Kimoyi, visited the Calabar, I and my wife, we had the two prayer points. First, fruit of the womb. Fruit of the womb became a prayer point for us when our first child was 11 years old without anyone following. By the special grace of God, this is our baby. The second, the second prayer point, we pray when next we are coming to this uh, campground, we should come with our own vehicle. Glory be to God, we came today in our own right. Thank Thank you, Jesus. What's the name of the baby? What's the name of the baby? The name of the baby. Give it, give him. Our name is Arao Olua Mary. What's the what's the meaning? Alakua. What's the meaning of Alakua? Wonders of God. Wonder of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In America, in Russia, in Australia, in Canada. All over the globe, we have wonder of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's testify to the point now. Praise the Lord. Uh, I want to thank the Lord for what the Lord has done for me. My name is uh, Brad Gabriel Adiku. I'm from Ikorumi District and Ikorumi Group. Uh, I have been writing an exam for a very long time, a professional exam, and uh, it has been as if uh, I was not going to make it. Amen. Each time I enter into the exam hall, when I look at the paper, I will be get confused and I will come out and not make it. It has been a lot for some time. And uh, this time, uh, we had the exam, this last one was in November. And uh, when the exam was coming, I approached my group pastor and he prayed after I explained to him, say, this is the last time you are going to write the exam. And also, I met my uh, district pastor also. We prayed together. In fact, the very week that I was to go for the exam, he asked me on Sunday, ah, have you taken that to exam? I said, uh, is this week I'm going to take it? He said, say, give me your hand. That is the last time you are going to write the exam. Amen. And I went in for the exam. I came out by the grace of God. Amen. Amen. Let me, I want to tell you something that the enemy has been fighting and they still want to fight. Even when I have passed the exam, when it was about a week to the exam, a police, professional police of mine sent me a test that I expected the exam on 20th of December. I said, uh, we waited at least was on Tuesday. Actually, the exam was published that day. And then when I checked, I checked through the, the whole exam. My name was not there. My number was not there. Amen. And uh, in fact, I was so devastated to the point that I don't even know how to tell my wife. I, I said, even if I'm going to tell her, let me calm myself down first. Throughout that night, I didn't sleep. And then the Wednesday came. First. I was lying down in the afternoon, and I saw a test my phone. And they gave me the details. I said, go and check, check for my exam. Amen. And uh, I said that this could be written to, to be sent to everybody. And I wrote the exam. I didn't uh, take it so much serious. But in the evening, I said, ah, let me even check. Even if I fail, let me see the score that I have that failed me. Amen. And when I check, behold, I pass. Amen. And even the score I had is higher than every score that I've had 
that professional exam. But the grace of God, I have now a qualified accountant. Amen. I want to tell you again that uh, it was the devil that I've been fighting, but I want to say this, that I want to use this opportunity to, I mean, for my, my, my pastors that have pressed through my sources for the hands of the enemy, that God will continue to increase and empower their ministries in Jesus' name. My brother and my sister, if you are having any challenge like that, hold on to God, and the Lord will see you through in Jesus' name. Pray. Oh. Put your hands together. Your hands together. Your hands together. Your hands together. Amen. This coming year, no failure. No purpose. Either in America or, or, or Australia or Canada or Asia or Africa or Nigeria. No purpose in Jesus' name. Be quiet now. Be quiet quickly. Be quiet. Be quiet. Let me take the adults. Let me pardon you because you didn't dress well. Come, come fast. Fast, 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 fast. My name is Sister Patience Donald. I had an accident June this year and I was unable to walk because it affected my kneecap. My kneecap shifted and I depended on crushes ever since then. So why on the hospital bed, it happens that GCK was ahead of us. So I kill him and I subscribe to the YouTube and I watch our GS preaching. At the final amen, I discovered I was able to walk. Even when I was pressed, I said, ah, this one that I'm pressed, who will assist me to the restroom? I said, something was telling me, patience, stand up, you can walk. God has done it for you. So I stood up and I f discovered I can walk. I could not bend my leg. I could not fold it this way. But after that time, I walked down to the restroom and make use of it. Since then, I can walk. My kneecap now is intact. God has done it for me. I say, may his name alone be highly exalted. Praise the Lord. My name is Okechuku Jonathan. I have been suffering from prostrate since the year 2020. And uh, the thing have, you know, last July 2023, when we had a crusade, total emancipation by the authority of Christ. At the last amen of the man of God, I have some sensation toward, within my waist. And uh, you know, when I came home, I told my wife that uh, I have received my miracle. All those pains disappeared. And then I invited the nurse that normally take care of me to come and remove the caretaker. He removed the caretaker the first day. I was able to pass the ring. The second day I was, the third day, the fourth day, without any pains any longer, no pain, no nothing. I was able to pass the ring from that day to this very day. I have been passing urine without any complication. So I give God the glory who, you know, healed me through the man of God. I give God the honor. I give him the adoration for what the Almighty God have done in my life. And I believe God will do it as many as that are looking on to God for a greater miracle. Praise the Lord. <laughs>